गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबडी एंड हैप्पी संडे टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द अप्रोच ऑफ इवेल्यूटिंग दी सीजेरियन स्कार वेदर विच अप्रोच इज बेस्ट वेदर द अप्रोच इज गुड बाय द कॉन्वेक्स प्रॉब और वेदर द अप्रोच ऑफ विजुअलाइजिंग द सीजेरियन स्कार इज गुड बाय द लीनियर प्रॉब और द ट्रांसवेजनल प्रॉब एंड वॉट शुड बी द appropriate uh, what we say prerequisite to diagnose this is in scar see first of all what i had observed till now is that whenever you want to diagnose this is in scar uh, the best approach should be the transvaginal ultrasound and it should be in the full bladder preferably because when you uh, do the full bladder you can visualize the bladder very easily uh, sorry you can visualize the uh, this cesare and uh, uterine anterior uterine wall uh, very easily this say in this video i will show you that uh, this this is the transvaginal scan that we had done here this scanning was done by uh, transvaginal scan and uh, you look here that this is the cesarean scar uh, sorry this is the uh, anterior uterine wall over here from here to here uh, very clearly visualized by the transvaginal probe when the bladder is full okay don't uh, uh, measure the cesarean scar in the empty empty bladder because when this lumen will become collapsed then it will be difficult to visualize this bladder wall and the anterior uterine wall so the best is to uh, uh, fill the bladder adequately at least uh, 300 cc of free void urine should be present and when you will uh, have a full bladder and you do ultrasound with the transvaginal probe you will get this type of picture in which uh, this is the uh, anterior uterine wall this hypoechoic area and this hyperechoic area is the bladder wall over here and very Uh, clearly visualized uh, uh, thick scar uh, thick anterior uterine wall not scar but uh, the main thing is that uh, what kind of approach we should take a uh, lot of people they are so much confused that uh, they uh, scan with the convex probe and uh, they don't uh, fill the urinary bladder uh, adequately at least 300 to 400 cc uh, if you can fill up to 500 cc extremely full bladder then also in convex uh, probe scanning uh, the vision is not so much satisfactory and uh, initially i was thinking about that the linear probe is best but that was also not giving much best result and i had shown the scanning by all the three probes now see what is the problem with this uh, uh, approach of convex probe in convex probe here this this bladder is uh, it was around 300 cc but still it is not compressing this anterior uterine wall if if this anterior uterine wall gets compressed uh, this side then we can visualize but uh, even after 300 cc of this uh, pre void urine this anterior uterine wall is not clearly visualized by the convex probe so this uh, and uh, this uh, vision is getting faded uh, gradually uh, as we go from up to down over here so convex uh, approach is uh, not suggested and you see here i tried from many different views but uh, the view that we see by this transvaginal probe here is, is very clear and here there is lot of difficulty in visualizing the anterior uterine wall even after full bladder and uh, then the third approach which i tried was the convex probe uh, sorry linear probe that was also uh, not giving proper view uh, here this 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 scanning was done by the linear probe here there is no any um, vision on only of the anterior uterine wall so it was also giving the same result of like we have in the convex probe and uh, here you see this convex uh, by approach by the transvaginal probe 
very beautiful view of the interior uterine wall and uh, this is the best way you can visualize this cesarean uh, sorry anterior uterine wall in uh, till 9 months also and if you want to uh, evaluate the cesarean scar all that you have to do is uh, to uh, look for the cervix and you just have to look uh, three uh, up to 3 cm only suppose this is the cervix over here then you have to look till here only because cesarean scar is not applied over here in this area it is just above the uh, cervix just one or two centimeter maybe i, I think uh, i had never done any operation so i don't know but uh, mostly the lower section cesarean scar means uh, the cesarean scar uh, the uh, incision is made very uh, close to the uh, internal cervix uh, hard, uh, maximum over here roughly over here uh, sorry in this area so when you get this area uh, uh, when you get this view uh, just look at the 2 cm area only and they rotate the probe uh, from left to right and see whether uh, in which area the scar is getting thinner uh, you have to tilt the probe on left and right and uh, keep on swapping left right left right where you, whether you are able to get the caesarean uh, sorry anterior uterine wall uh, this view and uh, if the anterior uterine wall is thin you will get at some point this and wall thickness is getting thinner so the best approach is the transvaginal probe approach with full bladder okay thank you